Hey everybody, Jam Creates here, doing a little uh, Jam Comics classic video for you here. And what we've got here is issue number one of Blaster. Uh, and then on this one, dun dun dun, the Ripper returns. It ain't no lie. Now, for those of you who may not know, if you're new to the channel. Jam Comics Classics, uh, as I like to call these, are comic books that I made when I was a kid. They're all from, you know, probably, I would say, you know, early 11 to, I don't know, 17 maybe, something like that. I don't know, something along those lines. Um, I used to make a lot of my own comic books, and... Most of them are issue number ones. There's lots of, because I create, I like used to enjoy creating lots of characters. So uh, I made lots of heroes. And so, of course, they all needed their issue one. Um, I do have some that have issue twos and stuff like that. So, and, and three and four. And we'll, we'll get to those uh, eventually. Uh, but for now, I figured I would do this one next. Because um, if you watched my last Jam Comics classic, um, which was Dark Leopard, you saw the introduction of this guy here, a terrible villain named the Ripper. Um, so I, you know, I liked him. I liked his design. I mean, I was a kid, whatever. He's obviously a Wolverine ripoff, but so what? Um, so I decided to bring him back in this one. So let's get into it here. This is issue one of Blaster. So we start with the title of the issue, Zap. And this, it's upstate New York. Uh, a 21-year-old boy, Johnny Simmons, is hiking. Apparently he's hiking someplace where there are only two trees and no grass. <laughs> that's, that's something, again, I always joke about, and you'll see it in most of these. There's not a lot of backgrounds in these books because, you know, let's be honest, drawing backgrounds can be kind of boring. Um... And these trees have no leaves. Um, not sure why. I guess maybe it was supposed to be fall. <laughs> I'm really not sure actually what I was thinking. But you'll notice this is in full color. Um, not all of them are, but this one is. So he's hiking upstate, young Johnny Simmons. And he hears a strange sound. He's like, I wonder what that noise is. And then blam, he gets zapped by this blast of energy um and I, like he's like what the heck was that and then god this handwriting is terrible uh he sticks out his hand and electricity blasts out whoa awesome and he jumps over a rock and electricity flows out his legs and he flies wow that's pretty cool huh um i always was a fan of this like you notice this uh electricity pattern that I've got going here. Yeah, I used that same thing when I used to draw like Ghostbusters and it was coming out of the proton packs. Like that was how I used to draw that. I always thought it looked cool um, and I enjoyed it. So here he goes, he's, he's driving home. <laughs> like he's like, I better get home. I don't believe this, I have superpowers. And then here's a really funny little thing right here. Um, you see this guy and he says, the kid doesn't know he's a mutie. That's because God knows when I made this, but to me, like, I, I guess I never put together that a mutie was mutant and mutant, the term mutant and mutie and all that was owned by Marvel. So it's there if I ever, whatever, <laughs> it's just there because whatever, I was a stupid kid. Um, and then I love this. Look. And since everyone thinks Dark Leopard killed me, I can get him. Dark Leopard, number one. You don't know how exciting it was for me to do that. Like, comic books always had the little asterisk, and then you would look at the bottom, and it would say, you know, C, issue, whatever, for this, or C, you know, issue, that, you know, that, you know. Um, and it was just so cool for me, like, as a kid, to be able to reference one of my other comics. Um, <laughs> it's fun, whatever. Um, there's really no reason, though, like, at least the Ripper had a motive when he was in Africa and he was fighting Dark Leopard, like, he was hired to do that. Here, he just happens to be in upstate New York and he sees this kid develop powers and decides, I'm just gonna kill him. 
I guess. I don't know. Um, there he is tracking him. That's a pretty cool shot for, like, you know, limited artistic ability. Uh, and overhead, the car is driving by. He's looking above. It's got some depth to it. Nothing else in the picture, but, you know, hey. So he's tracking young Johnny. Johnny goes to his house. He goes inside. Ripper, of course, always brings along his duffel bag. Time to get changed. I'm back on the job. But not really, because no one's paying you, dude. You're just doing this to be mean, I guess? And he's like, he's dead. And then, look at this. Look at this action. Smash right through the window. Ah! Comes crashing through the window. Claws first. Right at poor Johnny. And then... Somehow Johnny gets underneath him and punches him with an electric, an electric charged punch that sends him across the room into the coffee maker. <laughs> I, don't know. I just think that's funny. I don't know why. And the Ripper cuts the plug for some reason. And that somehow catches the curtains on fire because of the sparks. And then I don't get me. This is really great. <laughs> He pulls a Molotov cocktail out of the refrigerator. <laughs> what the hell was I doing? Oh my god. Um, that just, oh god, that was really funny. He just reaches into the refrigerator. Hey, uh, you want some, he puts like the Sunny D commercial. Eh, soda, OJ, purple stuff, Sunny D. He's like, yeah, soda, OJ, purple stuff, Molotov cocktail, all right. <laughs> Just like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. <laughs> let's keep the action going. He throws this Molotov cocktail, and then boom. And then he has another one. So apparently he had like a six-pack of them in the, in the fridge. Blows up behind him. This is another thing I was famous for doing. You'll see these in a lot of my comics. It's the guy in front of the explosion, like, these explosions i loved those explosions um and then you can see all oh, the devastation poor johnny's house just destroyed and then johnny was left for dead but an electric shield protects him i don't know how an electric shield protects you from fire but you know hey whatever and he's like great everyone thinks i'm dead just like the ripper <laughs> he's also dressed just like him what's up with that uh good thing i know how to how to sew <laughs> Oh, Lord, I love these. I hope you guys get as much enjoyment at it looking at these as I do, because they're just funny as hell. And I know. I mean, they're just, ah, uh, they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, so here I am, Blaster. And then he runs, and he's using super speed with his legs with the electricity. And I don't know how, but he just runs, and he just knows where the Ripper is. So he just runs really fast, and then wham, punches him right in the face. Look at all that blood coming out of his mouth. Oh, that had to hurt. And then, uh, I'm really gonna kill you. No question about how he's still alive, or even who he is. How does he know it's the same guy? He got someone, like, super speed just comes by and clocks him in the jaw. And he knows who it is. Like, I'm really going to kill you. And then this has been a thing that has haunted me forever. Look, they're jumping at each other. Very dramatic. Okay, cool. And then he says, great. Two dead men finding each other. I was, I wanted it to say fighting each other. And for some reason, I wrote finding. I don't know why. And I didn't cross it out. I just left it there. And it has bothered me ever since. <laughs> It's just one of those things. See, I didn't have an editor either, Marvel Comics. See, you're not alone. Even, even you know, 10-year-old kids, or, or maybe I was 12 when I made this, 12-year-old kids making their own comic books at home make editing errors too. So don't feel so bad. And then here, look. Oh, he stabs him right in the gut. And then boom, a roundhouse just, boom, slashes his face. Say bye bye. I don't think so. And then here comes the charge. Here comes the punch with the blades. Here comes the charged punch. What's gonna happen? Wow! 
Knockout punch. He's out. He's out. Looks like I got a job now. Not really. Again, you just put on an outfit and fought a dude. <laughs> There's really not much of an origin here. <laughs> We don't know anything about him. Does he have a family? Does he not have a family? Are they all dead now? Were they in the house that burned down? Like, what have... Anyway. The final shot. Hey, hey. The Ripper's not done yet. But that's the end of the book. And look, there's no, um, the end flag. Oh, man. That would have been a good spot for one. I could have put, it like, a question mark on it, too. Um, so, Yes. So I hope you enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed going through that one again, uh, as you could tell from the uncontrollable laughter. Um, I'm having a ball rereading these things. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, that was issue one of Blaster, a jam comics classic. Uh, look at that dynamic cover, by the way. You know, really, if you saw this on the newsstands, I mean, come on. How could you possibly pass that up? Uh, he looks like he's wearing feedy, feedy pajamas. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, the funniest thing is I have all these, you know, these characters I created. I took them so seriously when I was doing this as a kid. It's not, I mean, it's really funny. Like, this was serious stuff. Like, I thought these were the greatest things, and they could all be awesome characters, and they could all have, like, great comic books, and... The funny thing is, is the more I, I think about them now, because I've been thinking about these characters again for the first time in years, really, in decades, that I've really been thinking about them. And there honestly are possibilities for things I could do with them, for sure. Um, I just don't know if it's something that's worth pursuing. I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know if you would love to see me maybe revisit some of these characters in some way, shape, or form. Um... But anyway, that was Blaster issue number one, a jam comics classic, and destined to be a favorite video of mine, at least. Uh, let me know what you guys think, because I thoroughly enjoyed doing this one. Um, you know, click that thumbs up button. You know you wanna. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. Um, you can go to my website. I have a link on my Twitter profile. You can go to the website and you can read this for yourself. That's right. I posted the entire issue for free. I'm not even going to charge you to read this classic, this absolute classic of comic book history right here. The Return of the Ripper. This was like a collector's edition, dude. People knew the Ripper was coming back. It was the second appearance of the Ripper. That was huge, man. Huge collector's market for this one. Uh, so you can go to my website. There's, I think there might even be a PDF version. You could download and read it if you want. If you want to keep it, I guess, or print one out or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you again soon. Uh, I really like doing these. Let me know if you like reading, if you like seeing these videos of my old comics that I made as a kid, because um, Lord knows I've got a bunch more. I was prolific. Um, so let me know if you want to see more, and I will certainly be putting out more of these in the future. Uh, so that's it. Uh, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Um, fan art would be very much appreciated <laughs> i'm kidding well no it would be appreciated but i don't expect anyone to actually make any fan art um so that's it i will talk to you again soon peace